Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit, right, see Hello, ladies and gentlemen Welcome back to the channel uh, Back on the 79 Camaro today I am actually prepping it to get it ready to put the carburetor back on it but before I do that I want to change this alternator out the alternator went out on me several months back um, simple change went out and bought another one so we're gonna be putting that on today for those of you that don't know how maybe this video will help you on an old school small block Chevy they're all gonna be about the same get your ground wire get your adjuster here where you can pull the alternator loosen the belt up tighten it up get your wire here got your hot wire back there and that's about it couple bolts hold it on so we're gonna be changing this alternator out and then I can put the carburetor back on here and we're also going to be having to buy a power steering pump down the road other than that I think I'll be pretty much wrapped up with a motor other than just dialing it in and tuning it up as we've got lots of new parts on here already but let's get to this alternator zoom y'all in a little bit here got our ground strap here our adjuster here already broke it loose about unplugging this oh of course it's gonna be old fragile and break on me why wouldn't it it ain't one thing it's another there's our cable move our boot which is old and cracked deteriorated looks like a 7 sixteenths I'll tell you what it's like 95 degrees today in this garage right now it's supposed to get up to a hundred plus might hit 101 dog days of summer are definitely here Loosen this up a little bit. I'm going to take my adjuster bolt off. Almost got it loose enough to where I can get the belt off of it. Uh, but it was a pry bar. I 
got our belt off. Let's just slide that down out of the way. Now we can take our other bolt off, which may be a 9 16 Yep. We got a spacer going from the block to the alternator. Yeah, y'all can see that bolt down there. I wonder, do I have a socket here? Already, I do. Might as well use a ratchet and socket. That's what they're made for. Why am I not using a ratchet and socket to begin with? I don't know. Why do people ask questions like that? I'm not a doctor. How do I know? We just grab whatever we have. First thing we see. Then when we're going through the process, we think, we think about it. And, you know what? It'd be quicker if I had a ratchet and a socket. Okay. Let's pull our bolt out. This is a long puppy dog. And our, there we go. Look at that. A little six incher. Our alternator ought to just come right out now. There we go. Alternator. I'm going to have to take this bolt off because we want to use this brace right here it's a spacer and alternators off oh, I am sweating something profusely I hope you all are appreciative of this I had to turn my fan off because it just makes too much noise in here and I'm regretting it but for y'all's purpose so you can hear me loud and clear I turned it off now what I'm wanting to do is clean this little section up right here to see if I got numbers on here to tell me a little more about this engine should have a little code right here somewhere on that pad that should tell me a little more okay we've cleaned that that plate that pad off there right above the cylinder head where our suffix code would be or identification it's right in front of the passenger side head I'll back y'all out so y'all can see we're on the passenger side, right in front of the cylinder head. There's a little section right here, and that's where your code will be stamped in. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to focus in here. Anyway, I've got it written down here, so I'll just show you. The numbers here. If I can get the light right, focus. I looked those numbers up. And basically what I found out. So we have a 69 block, 354 barrel in a 79 Camaro when I first bought the car I was told you know he didn't know what size engine it was but I figured it was a 305 I looked on the because it still has the original sticker of the car itself right here and it shows it's a 305 and that's why I just went with it but one day I was looking at the casting numbers which is on the driver's side rear of the block and that told me wait a minute 
This is a 350 by the casting number. Well, we're done with that. Now I can actually stick this alternator back on here and get back on track. All right. Let's stick this alternator back on here, shall we? First things first. Should I move this boat? Line up or well, let's do it like this. That's going to be a tight fit. Wow. I may have to get a spreadinator. Pull back on that pulley. Maybe I can pull. There we go. Get our belt put back on. I need a little more. Alright. Got our belt back on. Adjusting bolt back on. Tighten that up. Check her belt again. Yeah, nice and tight. Now, as far as the belt goes. You want it nice and tight, but you want to be able to go at the longest portion of the belt. Find the longest, like this is a short run here. You want to find the longest run. Make sure you can turn it, like, not too loose, but turn it a little bit. Turn it about halfway. And that's a good point for it. That way you know you got it tight enough. Now we can plug our little plug back here. Plug it up. And then we got one more cable in the back. Alternators are real easy on these old school cars. Nothing to it. And a 7 16th wrench. I have it. Tighten that up. And voila. Let's hold this keyboard. Make sure. Good and snug. Yep. Okay. We're tight there. Plugs back in. Belts on, new alternator, now we got it on. So that'll eliminate another problem with the Camaro. You know what I forgot to do? I wanted to spray paint my new water pump. I got a new one, but I didn't paint it when I put it on here. Um, so it's got a little bit of surface rust on it, not much. But I wanted to paint that while I had the alternator off. Why didn't y'all remind me of that? Dag burn it. I'll have to work around that. Uh, 
throw a rag over this over the pulleys spray what I can make it look pretty good keep it from rusting up anymore but that's gonna end it for this video um, how to change an alternator how to look up your suffix code on your engine find out what you got what it came out of and all that good stuff um so that's it i'm gonna end it here it's 101 degrees in the garage and i've been running without a fan so there wouldn't be no distraction with the volume while i was recording so um i'm gonna call it and we'll get back with you on the next one y'all have a beautiful day and thank you be cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me The following grows, they know how to ignite me Call me CEO, I've been running shit, right, see